This is the vacuum contact maker VCM600. It is a system that makes contacts on different shapes and substrates by placing a thin metal film on the material surface. This is done by vacuum evaporation. For this procedure, we place aluminum pieces on the filament. We have this plastic, this acrylic cup, and we like to put contact on it. We place it on the shape holder. Here. It is on place. We cover, uh, we place the sample on the substrate holder. And we cover the same holder with aluminum foil to protect the glass bell jar being coated. We give power to the system, turning the power switch on. The green light indicates the existence of the power. We evacuate the sample down to a low pressure close to 10 to minus 5 millibar. For this purpose, we use a vacuum pumping system that includes a mechanical pump and a high vacuum pump with a day to eight pumping speed. We use a tubomolecular pump with pumping speed 80 liters per second. We connect the pumping system to the vacuum port and we start the mechanical pump. Immediately, we notice the movement of the needle in the vacuum indicator. The needle moves from the red area, which is for atmospheric pressure, to the yellow area. As soon as the pressure falls below the 0.5 millibars, the yellow light turns on. We then wait a while and then we start the turbo pump. Now we see a faster movement of the needle towards the green area on the instrument. As soon as the pressure falls below 0.05 millibar, the green light turns on and at the same moment the big red light on power heating section turns on. Now we have an indication that we have achieved a good vacuum to start the evaporation. By turning the current control switch we make sure that the correct current passes through the filament. The instrument displays the current measured in amps. This way we can control the filament temperature. The maximum temperature of the filament is 1800 Celsius. The VCM600 can evaporate materials like aluminum, silver, gold, oxides and others. Using different type of evaporation materials, we need different evaporation temperature, which means different current intensities. Of course, we can measure the evaporation rate using an optional rate meter connected to the one of the three ports on the base plate. The total evaporation time needed is close to two minutes. We then minimize the current We turn off the turbo pump. We wait 5 to 10 minutes for the filament to cool down and then we start venting the sample, activating the vent valve. The pressure increases and we soon reach atmospheric pressure in the sample. Now all light signs are off and we can open the sample to take out the coated sample. This is the sample that we have to coat to make the contact. And here is the same after making the contact. Action. 
not contraction. You can see also the quality of the contact. Excellent. Excellent. The uniformity is very good. This is the VCM 600, the vacuum contact maker system. It makes contacts with vacuum evaporation. We can use aluminum, gold, silver, metal oxides and other materials. Here, this is another plastic sample coated with gold. Please notice the different color. It is conducted. Here, this is the first that we have made. Conduction. No. Coated with gold. No. We use the VCM 600 to make a coat with gold and with aluminum. The quality is really very good. <laughs>